Welcome back to today's video. We're talking about sync pattern or synced pattern overrides. If you're watching this in the future, this is something that's coming to WordPress 6.5. If you already have it, congratulations. If not, if you're looking at this before WordPress 6.5 is released, hey, here's a little bit of insight into what's coming to synced pattern overrides. Say thanks to my friend Birgit Pauly Hack for putting this together on her website, gutenbergtimes.com. I'll link the entire written tutorial out in the show notes below. I'm here on the playground, playground.wordpress.net, to show you what's coming to sync to patterns in WordPress 6.5. Let's go to the editor, patterns, and for this example, we'll follow along the same sort of example that uh, Birgit wrote out in her tutorial. We're just going to copy an already made pattern here in uh, the 2024 theme and then use that as our basis for uh, using this uh, sync pattern override feature that's coming. If you've never seen patterns before, well, this is what's making up a lot of uh, the WordPress paid design pages and uh, templates that are really hitting a lot of these new block-based themes these days. Patterns make it easier to build sites quickly. If you see all the patterns here in 2024, you can browse down. I don't know why that's doing that. You can browse down and see all the different patterns. I'm going to take this pattern right here. It's called services call to action with image. You can see here that you can't delete this. This is an, a pattern that's part of the theme, but I can duplicate it by clicking duplicate. I'll call this Matt's hero. This is uh, this interface that you see here. This is new to uh, new, relatively new to patterns. If you've not explored patterns before, it's getting nice and easy to organize, duplicate, make things uh, for your WordPress website. You can categorize it if you want, come up with your own categories. It's important that we say synced in this case. So we're going to go ahead and hit duplicate. Uh, and this is going to give you a preview of that pattern, more full screen. You can see some of the uh, metadata, the more details here. It is, is the syncing synced? Yes, the syncing is synced. You can tell by that right there. What's the difference between synced and not synced? I don't know what the actual term that shows up uh, when it's not synced. <clears throat> but synced means that when you use this pattern, it's the same pattern throughout your entire WordPress website. So if you're the web designer of a brand website or the webmaster as it might be known. Maybe you work with a sales team, a marketing team. They're not developers. You can't really give them the key, keys to the kingdom to break things. So you create a synced pattern and you say, hey, whenever you're making a blog post, a landing page, a product page, use this synced pattern as our main call to action. This is the thing that you'll use to get people to sign up to a newsletter, buy a product, whatever. And you don't want them to break it. You just want them to throw it in the content that they're writing. That's what a synced pattern is really great for just as an example. However, there might be times where within that synced pattern, you want to be able to override some content here. Right? Not the best name for it, but it works for now. And as of the time of this recording, and I believe inside of uh, Birgit's, Birgit's blog post, she does say, she calls out uh, that I use a pattern to change the headline button link uh, bah, 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 bah. somewhere in here, it only, right here, WordPress 6.5, only heading, paragraph, and image, and button blocks allow override as of right now, which means you can change just some text, images, and buttons. Probably the most common thing you want to override um, in a pattern. You don't know what that means? I'm going to show you right now. So this pattern right here we have uh, is, is made up by a bunch of blocks, right? So we have column blocks. On the left-hand side, we have the image. On the right-hand side, we have a heading, paragraph, and a button block. And what I want to do is say, hey, when my team uses this synced pattern, I'm going to let them override the header heading block because I'm going to want them to change the call to action. Maybe depending on what the page is, I want them to say something else. So I'm going to allow them to do that. And how we get to that is advanced and then allow instance override. And then on the image, we're going to do the same thing, just as example, allow instance override. And we're going to hit save, save Matt's hero. And now Matt's hero synced pattern can be used anywhere on the website, will allow the user who's putting it in to change the image and the heading text. Let's take a look at that in action. Page, we're going to add a new page. 
I'm going to close that out. Test. And we'll pull up the pattern that I saved. There's Matt's hero. Drop that in. And now you'll notice by just clicking, I'm just clicking, you'll notice that this blue outline is there. I can't click into this text. If I click in here, I can get in there. I can't click this button. So we're going to open this up and you'll see that the content available to me to modify is the image and the heading. So I can say, change this hero, but you'll notice I can't do anything else in Matt's hero. In other words, all of those blocks that made it up before, made up that pattern before, I can't modify it. It's a synced pattern, it uses throughout the site. You can tell that by the sort of purple color, uh, Matt's hero. I can go back and edit the original which will allow me to pull up all of those blocks. But as the sync pattern, I'm only allowing folks to edit those, that image and that heading block. Sync pattern overrides. Coming to WordPress 6.5, just wanted to make you aware of that today. If you've not been using patterns, you haven't really seen patterns, it's your first time getting into WordPress, uh, in these more later versions of WordPress. Uh, congratulations, welcome to WordPress. This is a new feature coming to Patterns, Blocks, Patterns, uh, amazing tools. If you haven't seen my 11 tips for WordPress beginners, I'll also link that up. Check out that video uh, to give you some background on some of this terminology and where this is all headed. Thanks for watching today. Sync pattern overrides. Thanks, Birgit, for writing the blog post. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want more stuff like this.